What is the National Resilience Institute? We started as a community resiliency project in a small Iowa town during the 2010-11 school year when the community lost three teens within six months to suicide. Amidst that profound grief, we experienced the blaming and finger pointing and ugly divisiveness that is a natural part of grieving. And communities can do a lot through education and normalizing on how to respond to types of tragic losses and how to come together and choose a better way forward. We did a deep dive into the research and best practices, putting together our models like our Thrive model of resilience. And we quickly discovered how deep the needs are. Very shortly after we lost our three teens, we heard from another Iowa town that lost two children, another Iowa town that lost a child, a Wisconsin community lost four, Illinois lost a child, Western Iowa lost three adults and then a child. That was all very quick growth within the area of post-suicide. Then we heard from communities who experienced other types of tragic losses and uh, natural disasters and floods. Our practice areas continued to expand with some work in uh, PTSD and post-traumatic brain injury. Our focus areas currently are student and school resilience, community resilience, and military resilience. We just returned home in 2015 from an immersion training in Israel with the Israel Trauma Coalition. This is a group of 40 nonprofits and research institutions, hospitals, government agencies, all coming together to provide whole person, whole community supports. And so now we are ready to push this information out to you because that's what we do as a nonprofit and we have a mission of education. And so as we learn, we will be teaching. Uh, look for our national conference. We host it every fall. We have one coming up in September. We also have regular trainings in the area of psychological first aid, trauma-informed care, uh, eMERGE leadership, all these types of trainings that we can get these tools to you so that you can support your community before, during, and after trauma.